basically we have the unboxing here. It's kind of funny. It came with a thing that says fragile glass and it was packaged pretty well. Um, it's got a lot of foam around the outside. Not a whole lot else going on here besides metal, so I guess I don't need much. And they separately packaged this little handle. It's both handles. Yeah, both handles. And some hardware. Sweet. Very nice, very nice. Looks to be pretty good quality. Let's see what the door panels look like. So, definitely looks like there's some bent tabs on the corners. This side's not bad. There we go. Another bent corner. Bent. Hopefully with some love and some wood I can make them pretty straight again. That one's probably the worst. It's like gnarly bent. Somebody fuck that thing up. Rough mounted the handle on there. Definitely looks cool. Overall the panels are pretty sweet. So they did include a little Street Faction sticker, pretty sweet, and a air freshener, pretty sweet. I think a lot of the tabs that were bent out, I got them pretty damn good to where it's flat. I think it sh should be fine. Should mount pretty flush. So let's see this side too. Yeah, that had to bend that one too. This one's probably the worst one, but I think it'll be all right. Panel flexes to some degree. Had to do a little bit of prep work, masked it off, and just sprayed the parts that are gonna show through the door black. So you can't see no crap. Kind of just a shitty job just to do something. Obviously, look at the rest of the car. It's pretty fucking shitty, so. Doesn't really matter. XXRs for all the fucking real wheel haters. Bink, 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 bink. Cheap, and I can fucking smash them. I don't care. Um, yeah. I do love this paint. Shout out to Rust Oleum over here. They got that sandable primer paint. It's actually black. Flat black. So, so the panels are pretty much there. I did mount this handle officially. Looks pretty good. And I got about the handle on that one, but it looks like the holes that they have for the screws are a little too small So I'm gonna have to drill them out a little bit. So here we have the finished panel installed I didn't really wipe it down and clean it or nothing and I'm gonna go with something different for the speaker bolt method and The only thing I really don't like about the street faction cards and it's something they obviously don't tell you about but look at this big gap and there's really nothing they can do about it besides make the metal actually fold over on the end as well because there's like the lock mechanism assembly that's right behind it and it really rubs up against it. It's kind of tight on my lock. It actually made it harder for it to turn. But I believe it'll work. Everything is functional. Door opens and closes pretty well. I got my switches hooked up here and this is still a work in progress right here. Got to put my screen back in it and... Gotta get one of those bezels. Mine's broken to shit. I got my window switches here, so if I want to go up or down, here they are right here. So, it's pretty sweet. Functionality of the window and glass seems to be pretty good. I haven't shut the door yet with me in it. Let's see what that one's all about. Oh yeah, nice little handle. Oh yeah. Definitely got some rattle to it. It's kind of the things I was worried about. But, also looks like it doesn't exactly seal like the way it should at the bottom, but who cares? It's race car shit. Definitely looking at how this panel hits the rubber. It seems to clear it. It hits pretty dead on. I think it'll do. Definitely makes my interior look way better than it did handle definitely is strong and functions well where it's at so they got something going on I think if they just address like this problem and a little bit of quality control maybe a little bit of bit better packaging I mean I get it they're pretty cheap panels right on this other door panel I kind of just need to reroute some things 
This wire that goes for the power mirror is actually on the wrong side of where it should be. Somebody had taken it off and not put it back in its correct location. So I'm going to have to do that real quick beforehand. I don't even think I'm going to paint this side since the whole car needs to be painted anyway. I'm just going to let it sit. I kind of broke the little clippy thing that goes right here and holds the rods in the middle. I hope that's not really that important to this. I did have to shave off this thing as well to make the other side fit. I kind of cut it like right here and cut it right here and just made it the last cover outside piece come off because it wouldn't fit right without that. I couldn't get any of the holes to line up. It could just be because it's really cold outside here and the metal doesn't really want to move or bend. It looks pretty clean still. I'm pretty happy overall. Like I said, the only thing that I don't like is this freaking gap that they have back here. Like, could have done something better with that. And obviously, the fact that this panel is already rattling over here. I'm gonna have to shove some shit inside. It's literally all in the corner right there, so should be an easy fix.